How's it going everybody? This is a short video to show you the automation toolkit that I made for you uh, to use if you would like in your Reason 6 uh, productions. And this idea of course came from the James Bernard toolkit that has a lot of different wave shapes to use in your volume and filter knobs and so forth. But I found that when I'm doing um, lots of automating, I, I tend to automate the same things over and over again and drawing in the values for those things such as um, LFO waveforms and LFO rates, arpeggiator rates, those sorts of things, can be kind of tiresome to switch back from the rack to the sequencer and so forth. So I just decided to once and for all make a file that has all of those values that I need. And, and things are always better when they're shared. So if you would like, I'll include the uh, link to my drop. To do is just click on one of the uh, little values there and copy it over into your sequencer lane and just go from there. So this really speeds up my creativity when I want to get an idea out, you know, because there's nothing like having to go into each clip and draw it in and so forth. And so um, lots of different things included in this toolkit. For the Thor, of course, um, portamento mode, LFO waveform rate, delay time, there's your Maelstrom, uh, modulator curves, filter A and B modes, shaper modes, lots of things for the subtractor, including all the different waveforms for the two oscillators and LFO destinations. There's some scream values that you can throw in there. And there are arpeggiator rates, shuffles, octaves, all sorts of things, and N19. There's your reverb and vocoder, pulverizer, alligator, the Echo and Neptune. I just decided to, um, you know, if there was a, a, a value that went from 0 to 127, of course it wouldn't make sense to try to reinvent the wheel on that. But if there is um, some values that could be selected, such as rates or um, wave shapes, you know, as far as LFO waveforms go, then I just made up all those values, including all 64 of the alligator patterns so um, hopefully this is helpful for you and um, you know like I said they see the link in the uh, description of this video and feel free to grab that but uh, let me know what you think and um, if you enjoyed this video and this uh, toolkit please comment back and subscribe and we'll see you next time